Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I work as a finance analyst. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through some business maths uh, calculations and ratios. How to calculate depreciation using the uh, reducing balance method. So depreciation is basically allocating the cost of an asset over the uh, life of the asset and the revenue it generates over a certain period of time. Um, so there are two methods to it. There's a straight line depreciation method, um, which you can uh, look into, which is a simplistic method, um, or there's a reducing balance method. Um, the two methods have like pros and cons, um, but for in terms of this, we're just going to talk through the method of the calculation. Um, basically, we just want to work out what um, amount of the initial of the total investment we're spreading over each year of uh, the life of the asset. Uh, we'll show that now in a calculation here. Okay, so in terms of calculating depreciation using reducing balance method, um, we need to find out the depreciation rate that we're going to use over this period. Um, so there's a formula here. Um, what I'm going to do is just use the, uh, like the double balance method. Um, for in this example, you can take a note of this. So on this example, um, we've got an asset which is worth £100,000 and it's got a five year life. So on the straight line depreciation, we would do £100,000 divided by five and that would give us £20,000 a year depreciation, which would expense into the, um, the accounts. For the reducing balance, it's a bit different. Um, so what we need to do is say that one divided by five, equals 0.2, so 20%. And then for the reducing balance method, because we double this up, so we're just gonna do 20% times two. So the depreciation rate that we're using is gonna be 40%. So where a straight line depreciation allocates 20,000 pound over each of the five years, what we're saying with reducing balance is that the asset is more productive, is of more value to it when it's, uh, when it's brand new. Um, it'll run more efficiently. So what we're gonna do is depreciate the asset a lot more at the start of its useful life. And then as we progress through, it'll get less and less in terms of depreciation. Uh, so we'll demonstrate this now. So I'm gonna say, I've got me five years, and I've got my base of 100,000. So my depreciation calculation is going to be in year one, 100,000 times by 40% so times by 0.4. So that is 100,000 times by 0.4 equals 40,000. So we've got an accumulated depreciation of 40,000 pounds. So for year two, it's the same approach. So we're going to have now a base of 60,000, which is your 100,000 less your depreciation. And then need to calculate the depreciation on that this time round. So 60,000 times by your 40% gives you 24,000. So we've now accumulated depreciation of 64,000. So in the accounts over these two years, that's the amount we'd see. Um, and the carrying value of the asset would be your, your original investment, less accumulated depreciation. So year three, 100,000 less your accumulated depreciation. We times this by 0.4 again. 14, so you'll see each year the depreciation expense is reducing. Um, and we're just going to follow this through now. So we 0.4, so that. You'll see that there's an outstanding balance, which is basically because we've used an approximation for the depreciation rate. Um, so what we need to do is just make sure, because there's no residual value on the asset, is that we take all this, this additional depreciation expense into the final year. So we would just add 7776, which means that we've started with a base of 1,000 over the five years, and we've accumulated the depreciation for the full 100,000.